YouTube, what is up? Oh my goodness, you already know I'm back at it again with the back at it again. Coming to you guys with another hair review. So I know the one you guys saw earlier in the year was the blonde with the brown roots. It was all times of Javavin. So I'm coming to give you guys a review on this unit. So I received this hair from a company called Sealy Hair on AliExpress. Um, they sent me two 26 inch bundles, two 24 inch bundles, and a 20 inch middle part closure. That was a mouthful. Um, this is their Brazilian straight hair, and I dyed this hair. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like a really subtle, um, it's a really subtle burgundy brownish color. But I absolutely love it. If you guys want to know how I achieved this color, um, I will put the specs in the description box below. Um, but yeah. So let me tell you a little bit about this hair. So a little bit of a backstory. I honestly received this hair, I want to say in November. Or maybe it was like closer to the ending of October. But honey child. A lot had happened in my life and I'm definitely gonna do a life update video because I know I've really been like all over the place with the videos so I am gonna do a life update but anyway my life was kind of all over the place and I just never got around to finishing the unit but when I did get around to finishing it it was um I want to say like the beginning of December or ending of November beginning of December and when I put this wig up on um, snapchat and Instagram and if you're not following me on my socials make sure you follow me at B613 um, when I put this up on the gram and on snapchat you guys are going crazy hunty like you guys loved it like everyone was asking me if I'm selling it what hair is it what color was it so I'm really excited to come tell you guys a little bit about this hair so again, like I said, I have four bundles in this particular unit. So it's the um, 226, um, 224 is in the 20 inch middle part closure. And you guys know I kind of like closures more than frontals just because my face is extremely small. My forehead space is pretty small and it's just easier to work with for me. Now, this hair, it's ultra soft like i'm not even gonna front this hair is really 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 soft um this hair feels like you know back in the day when you used to buy like remy hair like behind the counter like expensive hair that's what this hair feels like it doesn't really feel like um virgin hair or brazilian hair entirely like i don't know it's a it's an ultra sleek feeling and this hair when you straighten this hair, this hair is staying so straight, so straight. Like, you can take it off, you can sleep with it. This hair is staying bone straight once you flat iron it. That is no word of a lie. I have not tried curling this hair yet. I will be honest with that. So I'm not 100% sure as to how this hair holds a curl. And to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure that it would necessarily hold a curl. Like, this hair... It's light, but it's it's heavy. So I think that if you were to put a curl in, it would easily um, fall instead of holding like a nice, bouncy, voluminous curl. But we will see later on in the year if it does curl well, because I would definitely try to, um, try to curl it up and show you guys. Um, so yeah, the hair stays bone straight. The hair, um, it sheds a bit. And I can honestly say that's maybe attributed to the fact that I cut my wefts when I make my wigs. Like, I don't do the flip over method when it comes to making my own wigs because I just think it's easier that way and it lays super duper flat at the sides. And I like doing that for my personal self. So I cut my, my wefts. So that could be um, an attribution as to why the um, hair sheds a bit but it's nothing ridiculous like I'm not leaving a trail behind me everywhere I go um, this hair does get a little bit snaggly now I'm not sure if it's because of the type of hair or if it's because the hair is super duper long mind you I do have other 26 inch units and 24 inch units and I love my long hair and I don't really get as much 
snaggling as I do with this unit. Like when I'm brushing through this hair or I'm combing through it like towards the ends, like sometimes I get like little, like actual little itty bitty knots. It doesn't really mat in the back, but yes, sometimes it does get tangly in the back. I'm not going to lie about that. I know the price point for the hair isn't, um, isn't unreasonable. I'm not 100% sure, I do not remember, and I didn't write it down, I'm really, really sorry guys, I didn't write it down, but I will put the price point in USD and in Canadian in the description box down below, so you can look out for that as well. But I know that the price point was relatively fair. This hair took the color really well. This is the color that I wanted. I mean, the lighting right now is not doing the hair justice, but I'll try to insert um, pictures from my Snapchat that really shows you guys the true color of this hair. And that was exactly the color I wanted. I did not use any bleach. I just used the L'Oreal High Color um, Reds for dark hair only. I used um, a mixture of a couple of those dyes and 40 Volume Developer, and it took the color beautifully. It's exactly what I wanted, so I'm really happy about that. However, the hair did fry a little bit. Now, I don't know if that's because I left the dye on for a little bit long or what the case may have been, but like in between, like when I go into flat iron my hair, I see that like, it's like a little bit fried. Like, I don't, I don't really get it. But once I flat iron over it, it's it's fine. You can feel it, but it's nothing that I can feel on the, out, on the top part. Like it's literally in between in little places. So again, that could be just, Maybe I left the product on a little bit longer than I should have and it, uh, it fried the hair a little bit. Um, overall, I love this hair. Like, Sealy, y'all did y'all thing. I'm not even gonna lie about it, honey. Like, I also had a lot of you guys actually DM me because they did post my picture on their Instagram. And I had a lot of you guys DM me and ask me about the hair and do I think it's worth it, um, if you should buy it. I definitely think that it's, it's a nice unit if you in like you love straight hair. If you love a good bone straight middle part, get this hair. Like again, like I said, the price point was reasonable. It was fair. Um and yeah, it bone straights so lovely. Like it's so pretty. This hair again, it's 26 inches, so it's when I'm sitting down, it rests on the top part of my thigh. When I stand up, it hits me like mid booty. And I'm 5'3 and a half. And um, yeah, so overall, I would say that the hair is fair. It's, it's good hair for a nice bone straight look. I'll definitely give you guys an update the same way I've done with my other units. I'll give you guys an update on the hair a little bit later on in the year. Because by then I would have curled it. I would have seen how it holds up. And then I can give you a nice thorough review then but as for now i am loving this unit I, I love it for my middle part straight looks it's very elvira very like morticia with a little bit of sass and uh yeah i definitely think you guys should take a look into Sealy hair of course you know look around look at other um youtube reviews on this hair check out their instagram everything's gonna be linked in the description box below and of course if you like this video and you want to see more like it, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Of course, grow the family even bigger. And I will see you guys next week with another one.